Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to the Snyder Family Homestead. Today, we're going to process some black walnuts. So I've been driving over these walnuts for a little while. Got some of the hauls off of them. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rake them up. Into a pile. This will help knock off through some of the remaining hauls. Just gonna rake them up in a circle like this. Pretty simple. Then I kind of smash them around a little bit more, just like this. And they'll start, since they're nice and black, the shells are starting to break down now for the husks. So like, if you look right, so as I've you've seen some of them roll out already, like right here, they're already starting to come out. So yeah. So this is a good time here if you, uh, know somebody that has some, some gloves, um, rubber gloves or leather gloves, try not to use cloth gloves because the cloth will bleach, um, the stain from these um, walnuts will leach through um, cloth gloves. And if you chuck enough um, black walnuts with leather gloves, it'll also stain through the leather gloves too. But um, got another bucket right here. And you just start take, picking up these nuts that, that come out and you just throw them in the other bucket. And um, if you see here, see how it is? These just kind of like, just that simple. And you just throw them into a bucket. As you can see here, we have about a, a bucket about a five gallon bucket, three quarters of the way, full of nuts. Now we just gotta fill it with water. Not really fill it, but get it so I can get this stick in here. Start turning it around. The bad nuts will float. I can't say bad nuts, but. Oh, you're good enough. And I'm just gonna sit here and stir it just like this. I'm gonna put you on time lapse. Now, it's a good thing to keep this basket that I used to help squish those walnuts down. Now we're gonna reuse it. We're gonna take our, our bucket of stuff here. The walnuts, you probably won't be able to see it, but we're going to pour our walnut mixture into this basket. I'm going to fix this for you here. Pour this walnut mixture into the basket to, uh, Wash them off. And you can see in there all kinds of nasty sludge and whatnot. And you can probably see all that nasty stuff too. So, a couple more rounds of that. It helps if you have a tub like a tote or something, and then you can put the basket in there, and that way you can shake the basket up and down, that gets the, the nuts really clean. But you can bring them back over here and just uh, keep washing until they're clean. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna turn your oven on the lowest setting that it will go. Some people use like 175, 150, 200 see I won't go no lower than that So once that reach once it reaches temperature what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just crack This and I'm gonna put um, 
I'm gonna crack crack the door on here like this, and I'm gonna put um, put something in here um, to keep this open to allow some of the heat out. But we're gonna get these uh, some of these walnuts dried out. They're already starting to dry out. All right. Um, I'm gonna get a couple here and I'm gonna crack them open for you. I'm gonna show you how I crack them open and I feel like it's the best way to crack them. So after you get the nuts all clean and everything, there's gonna be what I call the top, which is the pointy part. And then you're gonna have the bottom, which is this part right here where it connects to the tree. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is there's a couple different ways to open this up. So you can get a rock and then I put, zoom in, go in, no. All right, so what you can do is you can get a rock and then put your pointy top, top up like this and take your hammer and hit right here on top and it'll crack open. Maybe. But see, then, you, then you're stuck with that, okay? So you can stop there and take those pieces off or then, then you start getting these broken pieces like this. Okay, so we'll set that off to the side. Or, you know, a lot of people I just see keep going like this and then, then they got to go through and then they get all these little teeny pieces. Like that. Which I'm not a fan of. So now we just got a mess to clean up as far as I'm concerned. Some people think that's a really good idea. But me... What I do, trying to focus here, is that the bottom? This is the tip. I get a pair of side cutters, and then you get that tip in here. You might not have as, as big as hands as me, so it might be hard. And then just put that in there, and you keep keep working that. And one might be too big, or you can get a smaller pair here, like this, and it helps. The nuts aren't completely dry yet. And then they split open. I'm a little out of practice from last year, but you get the nuts to split open. This one's not cooperating, so I'll show you with this. Then you just start taking them and clipping, cleaning this up. It's messy, so you might want to do this outside, but you can kind of just start doing that. So. Uh, like I was just getting ready to show you, like I was having a hard trouble right here, so I'm gonna wrap my wrap up this whole video on how to shuck the walnuts, how to dry them out, and then um, I'm gonna go in the next video that I make is gonna be right after this, and it's gonna be an in-depth process on how I use these here, these tools, side cutters, to um, crack the nuts out and get them in halves and even holes. So thanks for tuning in for the Snyder Family Homestead. Have a good rest of your day.